Kylie Hill. The Paul Frank Show on BBC WM. BBC WM. Now, let's go and talk to uh, British actor Ben Barnes, who has been Prince Caspian, King Caspian, in the Chronicles of Narnia and the, uh, the new one, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. He's been in Stardust, uh, Dorian Gray. He's at the Comedy Theatre in the uh, West End of London until the 15th of January in uh, Birdsong, which is a play based on the book by Sebastian Folks that sold, well, a good couple of million copies. Ben Barnes, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. And uh, you've been in the West End with this for a, a good few months, haven't you? We have, yes, we have. We've um, we've been going um, about three months, and um, um, or just over three months, and we got till the fifteenth of, of January. So um, it, it's been quite a, a roller coaster for us. For people who haven't read the book, and I mentioned it, it was it came out sort of uh, close to twenty years ago. It sold at least two million in this country. The the story for for Birdsong, Ben. Yes. Is what? Give people a, a brief synopsis. Well, I, I, play, I play a character called Stephen Raceford, who in 1910 is sent by his guardian to make a report about a factory in Amiens in France. And he stays with the factory owner and his family and promptly falls in love with the lady of the house, the factory owner's wife, and they embark on an illicit and clandestine affair. And then they run away together and some reason she leaves him and he can't understand what's happened and then we skip six years into the future and find ourselves in the middle of world war one just before the battle of the Somme. and he is a completely different man to, to the to the young man that we met at the beginning of the story he's, he's, a, he's a cold-hearted awful man and um and it's, it's it's the story of of what happens to him, but also what happens to all those surrounding him um, in World War One, and a lot of uh, a lot of the um, sort of very powerful stories. It, and it's uh, and it's a very sort of beautiful and haunting story. It's a book that I died read twice before I before I even heard about the auditions for the for the stage adaptation. And how do you feel about uh, having played Stephen Raceford? Because it is uh, by the sounds of it. A pretty sort of uh, emotional roller coaster ride. It is absolutely. That's that's sort of um, what I meant when I said roller coaster. I realised it sounded a bit flippant, but um, no, it's it's it is it's, it's a sort of emotional endurance test every night. It's it's almost it runs at uh, just under three hours, and um, I'm on stage for almost all of that time. And it's uh, there's some 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 real kind of emotional highs and lows during during that during that period. So it is a very sort of testing role but you also you know you want to be faithful to the material and and honorable um and and sort of honor the the scenarios and the, and the situations that the characters find themselves in because they were very real yeah well it, it ends on the 15th of january it's got to end yeah. on the 15th of january at the comedy yes. theater but it's not a comedy it is not it is not there <laughs> are you know obviously some some light moments like but you know, it's like, for example, you know, Blackadder goes forth. You you laugh mm. for six episodes, and, and and it's it's wonderful, and you warm these characters, and then they go over the top at the end, and you feel guilty for every single laugh you've had, and 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 it's and it's absolutely tragic and very very moving, and it's so so you know there are some lighter moments, but it's I certainly wouldn't describe it as a comedy. No, directed by Trevor Nunn, and you've got a fantastic cast to yeah. work with as well. There, fantastic cast and fantastic designer John Napier designed all the sets, and Trevor Nunn is sort of. A, a master of creating sort of pictures on if you know if you need to create the the song on a on a stage uh the battle of the song on a stage he he would be the man that you'd go to i think but a, a great um a great cast of actors um lee ross um and uh genevieve Rage actors and it's a it's sort of storybook theater so a lot of these people were playing more than one part as well yeah it's it's a fantastic production and you're in the, you're in the london stage doing that while um uh... The Narnia movie, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, is um, are doing pretty well at the box office. It's, it's playing, yes. It's sort of playing around the world. It's sort of. I don't think there's a minute of the day that it's not on somewhere at the moment. I'm, 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 I'm reassured. But um, yeah, it's great. I mean, we've already had people, you know, coming to the uh, stage door afterwards and saying, "I took my kids, and they're making me take them again." And um, it's, it's a very, very sort of fun family film for this time of year. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. It's my favourite of the seven. Uh, Narnia story, so it was great for me to kind of be involved. And I watched the TV series of it when I was eight. So if I can, if I can make anyone sort of 
under the age of 15 sort of sit there and feel half the excitement I did when the theme music started up for that on a Saturday night or Sunday night whenever it was on then uh, then I think my, my job is done but um, yeah I, th- I, th- I think it's great and a great role for you to get as well I mean you, you can have all the ability in the world but uh, you, you need to be spotted and you, you need a sort of a high profile role and, and you got it as Prince Caspian yeah I was, I was very lucky I was doing um, the History Boys actually in the West End and the casting director saw me in that and um, and asked me to uh, have, a, have a meeting for it so it was uh, it's absolutely it's, it's all about you know, it's all about timing and, and good fortune in this in this business and um and I was lucky enough to, to, to get a role like this, but also for it to be in a story which I had known and loved for, you know, 20 years earlier was um, was particularly special. But, uh, yeah, yeah, you absolutely do, because that gives you the opportunity um, from that point on to um, for people to sort of know your name a little bit and, and consider you for other things. You see, a lot of people listening, Ben, would say, oh, I'd love to be an actor. It's, you know, you, people watch TV all the time and think, yeah, I, how, how do I go about it? Did you always... The only advice I ever got from anyone was don't. <laughs> um, I, I, I think, uh, you know, I was at school and all my teachers would tell me it was a ridiculous idea. And my parents would say, well, don't you think you should go to university and, and do that kind of, take take, take that route? Uh, I, you know, I have to actually add as a parenthesis to that, that, that now they are completely and utterly supportive in every way and, and always have been. But, um, you know, I went to university and um, my head of drama, you know, I said at least... He, called me into his office at the end of three years of my degree and said um what do you want to do and i said well, i still want to be an actor as you well know and he said don't and everyone i ever encountered just said don't 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 and i think that's probably the best advice because after the in ever after everyone tells you don't do it and you still can't think of anything else you would rather do in the world then it's probably the right job for you it's, it's like the old adage about growing up you know as a parent you, you tell you tell one of your young kids not to do something they'll instantly do it but it's but it's worked for you. And what, what was the, was there a big break? I mean, was uh, the first film you did was uh, was that Stardust or it was? Yeah, Stardust yeah. was the first sort of recorded thing I did that wasn't theatre. So um, it was, that was a, that was a fantastic piece of um, sort of good fortune, and, and um, it, you know, it was a good part for me to, to come along and cut my teeth on. I sort of auditioned for the main role, but because I had no experience, they offered me the the, the smaller role instead. And uh, and that was perfect for me because it meant I got a little bit of experience without any of the pressure. And um, yeah, it was, it was sort of it was sort of very very lucky for me. Yeah. Now, Bird Song is running for the next couple of weeks until the fifteenth. And what's the plan for two thousand and eleven now for for you? What sort of projects have you got on the go? Well, I have uh, a couple of films that I've made coming out. Uh, one called Locked In that I did in in Boston, and, and, and a film I made in Ireland called Killing Bono, um, in which I play a ridiculous '80s wannabe rock star who went to school with Bono, <laughs> um, and I uh, make a complete idiot of myself, which actually comes surprisingly naturally to me. So I'm, I'm, I'm that's good. So I'll be so I'll be sort of um, going around, sort of supporting those when they come out, and uh, and I don't know after that actually. So. Um, I have to wait and see. And that film about Bono starred uh, the, the late, great Pete Postlethwaite, of course, who was uh, one of my favourite actors. I mean, very sad to uh, hear about his death, but his, his movie legacy will live on. And that the role that he plays in this uh, this, this film uh, is what, alongside you, then? He came and he played our, our uh, eccentric camp landlord, um, and he's utterly brilliant. Yeah, a, a sad loss, because I saw him at Manchester Airport in the departure lounge and desperately wanted to just go up and shake him by the hand and uh, say how much I admire him, but I just couldn't pluck up the courage, but uh, must have been great working with him. Lovely, lovely man. Brilliant to work with. He's just got it. Steven Spielberg said he's the best screen actor that's ever, ever, he's ever worked with. Yeah, he starred in some, uh, some great films. Uh, ben Barnes with us, uh, top actor, who is uh, do- doing the rounds in the movies, of course, with The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, the latest in the Narnia films, uh, on stage in London at the Comedy Theatre uh, in the drama, playing Stephen Raisford in Birdsong uh, for the next few weeks until the 15th of January. Uh, ben, a pleasure to talk to you on BBC WM. Thanks for having me. Cheers. BBC.